evolved with and adapted itself to the important features of water. What exactly is water and why is it so important to us? Water is a clear thin liquid that has no color or taste when it is pure. It falls from clouds as rain and flows into rivers lakes and seas. Water is actually a compound made up of hydrogen and oxygen. A water molecule consists of two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. Hence, water is often referred to as H2O. There are many natural sources of water and they are sea, spring, wells, river, ponds, lake and rain. Generally, the most pure and clean natural source of water is rainfall. It has very little dissolved substances and dust. Water from spring and well comes second to rainfall. They have microorganisms and dissolved substances. River, pond and lake are not clean. They have a lot of dissolved substances and dirt, such as microorganisms and silt. Water from the sea is the dirtiest. It has the most dissolved substances and dirt. Water, especially clean water, is so important to us. We use clean water to do our everyday activities like cooking, drinking, bathing and for sanitation. <laughs> water is so essential that it has become strategic resource for many countries. Conflict over shortages and control of water creates tensions which can lead to wars between countries. The growth of industry invites pollution. When pollution comes, water becomes contaminated. Water purification is much needed to combat the contaminants in our water so that it is safe to drink and use. The methods of purifying water are filtration, boiling, chlorination and distillation. Let's do a simple experiment on filtration. The material needed for this experiment is muddy water. The apparatus needed are beaker, retort stand and clamp, watch glass, Bunsen burner, tripod stand, wire gauze, dropper, glass slide, cover slips, 
and microscope. Now, let's go to the procedure. First, set up a water filter. A water filter is a glass tube that consists of layers of fine thin, coarse sand, gravel and rock debris. Next, pour muddy water into the water filter. The muddy water passes through layers of fine sand, coarse sand, gravel and rock debris. Now, look at the filtrate in the beaker. The filtrate looks clear. What happened to the muddy water? You see, when the muddy water passes through the water filter, the water filter filters the muddy water from suspended materials. So, filtration removes suspended materials. But what about dissolved substances and microorganisms? Let's find out. Drop some of the filtrate onto a watch glass. Heat the filtrate until all the water evaporates. Observe, that is some residue. This shows that filtration does not remove dissolved substances. Now, put a drop of the filtrate onto a glass light. Cover the glass light using a cover slip. Unobserved through the microscope. Although the filtrate looks clear, there are some microorganisms. So, from the experiment, we can conclude that filtration of water using water filter only removes suspended materials. It does not remove dissolved substances and it does not remove microorganisms. Boiling and chlorination. Boiling. For this experiment, we need the filtrate from the first experiment and chlorine solution. The apparatus needed are beakers, wire gauze, Bunsen burner, tripod stand, watch glass, dropper, glass light, light cover, and microscope. Procedure. Pour 100 cubic centimeters of the filtrate into a beaker. Then, boil the filtrate for 5 minutes. Turn off the Bunsen burner and leave to cool. By using a dropper, Put to drop off the water onto a glass light. Cover the glass light with a slight cover.
and observe through the microscope. Although the filtrate looks clear, it has some dissolved and suspended materials. From this experiment, we can conclude that boiling with a temperature of 100 degrees Celsius is powerful enough to kill microorganisms. Boiling does not remove dissolved substances. Boiling does not remove suspended materials. Chlorination Procedure Pour 20 cubic centimeters of filtrate into a beaker. Drop chlorine solution into the beaker. Leave the filtrate for a few minutes. Put a drop of the filtrate onto a glass light. Cover the glass light and observe through the microscope. The filtrate does not have any microorganisms, but there are some dissolved substances and suspended materials. Conclusion A small amount of chlorine can kill millions of microorganisms. Chlorination does not remove dissolved substances. Chlorination does not remove suspended materials. Distillation This method involves the processes of boiling and condensation to produce pure water. The material needed for this experiment is muddy water. The apparatus needed, thermometer, beaker, Libic condenser, round bottom flask, retort stand, wire gauze, tripod stand, Bunsen burner, and microscope. Procedure Pour 500 cubic centimeters of muddy water into a round bottom flask. Place a thermometer as shown. Heat the water in the round bottom flask. When the thermometer reaches 100 degrees Celsius, the water boils, water vapor will then go through the glass tube and into a Libic condenser. The Libic condenser will cool down the water vapor and turn it into water. This water then flows out into the beaker. By using a dropper, put a drop of the water onto a glass light. Cover the glass light with a slight cover and observe through a microscope. The distilled solution is free from microorganisms, dissolved substances, and suspended materials. Conclusion Advantages and Disadvantages Advantages Distilled water is free from microorganisms. Distilled water is also free from dissolved substances and Distilled water is free from suspended materials. Disadvantages 
Distilled water is free from minerals that the body needs, and so distilled water has a flat taste. Let's summarize the conclusions that we've gathered from the experiments on the methods of purifying water into a simple table. First, let's look at filtration. Strength. Water from filtration is free from suspended materials. Weakness. Water from filtration has microorganisms and dissolved substances. Next, boiling. Water from boiling is free from microorganisms. Water from boiling has suspended materials and dissolved substances. Chlorination. Water from chlorination is free from microorganisms. Water from chlorination has suspended materials and dissolved substances. Lastly, distillation. Water from distillation is free from microorganisms, dissolved substances, and suspended materials. Although water from distillation is clean, but it does not have important minerals that is much needed by our body. Water from distillation has a flat taste, which is not particularly to our liking. Water is actually a compound made up of hydrogen and oxygen. A water molecule consists of two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. Hence, water is often referred to as H2O. The most pure and clean natural source of water is rainfall. It has very little dissolved substances and dust. Water from spring and well comes second to rainfall. They have microorganisms and dissolved substances. River, pond and lake are not clean. They have a lot of dissolved substances and dirt such as microorganisms and silt. Water from the sea is the dirtiest. It has the most dissolved substances and dirt. The methods of purifying water are filtration, boiling, chlorination and distillation. Filtration of water using water filter only removes suspended materials. It does not remove dissolved substances and it does not remove microorganisms. Boiling with a temperature of 100 degrees Celsius is powerful enough to kill microorganisms. Boiling does not remove dissolved substances. Boiling does not remove suspended materials. A small amount of chlorine can kill millions of microorganisms. Chlorination does not remove dissolved substances. Chlorination does not remove suspended materials. Advantages and disadvantages. Advantages. Distilled water is free from microorganisms. Distilled water is also free from dissolved substances and distilled water is free from suspended materials. Disadvantages Distilled water is free from minerals that the body needs and so distilled water has a flat taste. Water, a precious commodity. How shall we help to conserve water? There are many ways. Turn off tap when you're brushing your teeth. Turn it on only when you rinse your mouth. Turn off the shower while soaping your body. 
take shorter showers. When washing hands, turn off the tap while soaping. Turn it on only when you rinse. Mop to clean the floor. Avoid using a hose or splashing water from bucket. Use a water container to water your plants. Do not use a hose. Fix any leaking taps or pipes in your house quickly. Water safe for drinking is shrinking due to the growth of world population and other factors such as pollution. Water shortage could be solved through less wastage and misuse of this precious and natural resource.